We're going to do a short practice this morning. Um, we're going to do something called the promise. Mark Whitwell designed it. It's, it's designed to be done in as little as seven minutes. And you can do this every single morning. If you want to set an intention, hey, I'm going to wake up every morning and I'm going to do some yoga. It doesn't have to be an hour long yoga class or hour and a half. It can be as short as seven minutes and you can make it as long as you would like. Uh, the practice that I'm going to be showing this morning is, is simply called the promise. And when I was going through yoga teacher training, it's what I did every single morning through my yoga teacher training. And then I would elaborate on it and give um, like maybe extra postures and poses through the practice. And so this is a gift from Mark Whitwell and I wanna share it with you this morning. this up quickly I'll bring this back out probably put it right here there we go perfect okay on your mat on the floor wherever you are good morning common sense who did that who redeemed oh you redeemed make me say something in a Texas twang Howdy there, partner. Howdy there, partner. Let's do some yoga together this morning. <laughs> In our Texas twang. So we're gonna inhale our arms up to the sky. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Let our hands come down to wherever they fall on the mat, the legs, the toes, bacon and eggs. Okay, how is that Texas twang? Walking the hands back toward the body. Hands down by your side. Thank you so much for the raid, Jules. Evie Tesla, good morning. Big Jumbo the King, good morning. Hi, <laughs> yeah, flower girl, thank you. Inhale, arms up. Exhale one more time. Taking the hands forward. Now it's kind of hard to get out of that Texas twang. Thank you for the follow. Sliding the hands back up, sitting tall, shoulders over hips. Inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Starting to feel this in your hamstrings, in your shins, in your knees, up the thighs. Inhale, arms up, one more time, forward fold. Gently bring the chin toward the chest. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the raid jewels. I hope your stream went well. Let's come up here. How is everyone doing this morning? Were you working out this morning, Jules? Walking hands back. Oh, you do what you want to do. Do whatever brings joy for you, common sense. Twitch has been a bit twitchy. It's all in the name. Bending knees up, bringing soles of feet together, still sitting tall. Just noticing how this feels in your hips, in your inner thighs. Mobility, taking it easy, good. 
What time do you plan to stream Common Sense? Full breath into the belly, full exhale. We're gonna exhale all that stale air out of the lungs. So really force out the air. And inhale. Fresh breath and exhale, release that. Come to easy seated pose. And then we're gonna take our chin toward the chest. Inhale, crown to the sky. Look up only as much as you feel comfortable, but not crunching in the back of the neck. Shoulders relaxing away from the ears and melting down. Lower body, legs. That's what I need to work out today, <clears throat> is my lower body. And we're gonna dip the chin down, begin to round the spine. Inhale, open the heart, shoulders back. We haven't gotten into the promise yet. I'll let you know when we start that. It actually starts standing. Exhale, round the spine. We're just doing our little warm up exercises here, getting some, a little bit of movement in our spine and flexibility. Shoulders over hips once again, sitting tall. We're gonna take this to a lateral side bend. So placing the left hand down on the floor, reaching over with the right hand. <clears throat> I can come a little in closer. We can get a little closer together here. Reaching over. Just notice the fingertips. Feel your palm on the floor or the mat. Sense your hip bones, your sits bones. The right one pressing down. Feel an extra stretch in the obliques. Exhale, sweeping the top hand down, right hand down on the mat or the floor, left hand over, and breathe. So twitchy, when, Jules, when twitch has been twitchy, what does that mean? Does it mean it's just been messing up? Glitchy? Is, that a, is twitchy a synonym for glitchy? Once again, take your awareness to your left sits bone. So the bone that's pressing in from your left, like the bottom of the pelvis, press that down into the mat, feel a stretch in the obliques. Inhale, put space between each rib. And exhale, send the top hand down. Just ate breakfast, I had a, a protein bar for breakfast and a little coffee, maybe a little too much coffee. Cat cowing our spine to warm that up. So coming over to tabletop. Inhaling, sinking the abdomen down, lifting the tailbone up. Exhale, rounding the spine. Feel this like even in um, like our glutes here at the top where they connect in to our pelvis bones around our sacrum, tucking under the tailbone. Inhale, sinking the shoulder blades back and down, like sliding them back, opening the heart forward, lifting the crown of the head. Exhale, round one more time. Press all the air out as you exhale. Inhale, yeah, oh, feels good. All right, beginning the promise. We're gonna take this up to standing, so it might be a little bit warming for you. So get to where you will not be overheated. So I'm taking my sweater, setting it to the side for now. Coming back into tabletop. <laughs> Superpowers, yeah, it gives super stomach upset when I have too much. All right, 
Sinking back down to cow pose. Exhale, round the spine to cat pose, good. Inhale, neutral spine, tucking the toes under, hips to the sky, stretch to the backs of our legs, walking the dog, good. Press the palms into the mat. Just take a gaze at your palms and notice, are your fingers spread nice and wide? Put some space between your fingers. It's okay to have a bend in your knees. Inhale and lift the hips up, point to the tailbone upward a little bit more. Exhale, take the gaze to between the thumbs and walk, step or jump to the hands. Inhale to halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Coming all the way to extended mountain pose. And exhale, hands to prayer. Place your right hand over your heart, left hand just below the navel. And as you inhale, feel the connection of the breath as it moves your left hand, just so subtly. Exhale. Just notice the abdomen drawing in. Good morning, Aloha Kra. Thank you, Dragon Blue. Did you hear my tummy? Inhale. It's making squishy sounds. So let your breath do, it's kind of like mine, how, can you hear my stomach? It's rumbling. It's my breath massaging my abdomen. So this is part of the promise where we get connected to our breath. Feel your soles of your feet pressing into the mat. This is all about being present. Once you get to the bottom of your breath, squeeze a little bit more air out. Good. And then two more breaths here, just noticing how subtly your hands move with the breath. Thank you so much, TYA. Oh, whoa, 105. And release the hands down. I have some thanks to do. I need to catch up on my follows. The thanks. All right, Mr. Jules Fit, thank you so much for following. So, Sozy, Lurky, Brenna CC, I'm sorry. Thank you for the follow and TY, thank you for the follow. Let's come to the front of our mat. Roll shoulders back and down. Have your hands down by your sides. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, let the arms float down. We're gonna do this five times. Inhale, arms up. Let the breath be the power behind the movement. One more time. And this time we're hinging at the hips, forward folding, slight bend in the knees. Coming all the way back up to standing. 403, good morning. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here, 403. We're gonna continue this for three more times, this sweeping of the hands down. You can bend your knees as much as you want. As you exhale, you're sweeping down and drawing your navel in toward your spine. Coming up with a flat back and down with a flat back. Imagining you are a beautiful bird. Wings, showing off your wings. All right. 
planting hands down around the feet, stepping back with your left foot. Planting the left heel down, inhaling, rising the arms up to the sky. Exhale, sweeping hands out. Inhale, arms forward and up. Moving very slowly. It's okay if you feel a little bit of shakiness in the muscles. We're just building tone in our muscles. Two more times here. Inhale up. Did you hear my sternum pop? Exhale down. Yours may be doing the same. Just exploring your own body here in this posture. Planting hands around that front foot. Turn on the back toes. And we're just going to kick right back up to the front. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands. Step back with the left, I mean, sorry, the right foot. So the other foot and plant your right heel down. Bend into your front knee. Inhale, the arms forward and up. So we're doing this five times. Exhale, sweep the hands out to the sides. Inhale, forward and up. This is our second time. Exhale, swan dive down. Third time here. Just being very present. Last time. Inhaling up. Exhale with your ocean breath. Planting your hands down around your front foot. Turn on your back toes. Step back, meeting in high plank. You're welcome to meet me in down dog or flow with me through chaturanga. If you come into cobra or up dog, you'll point those toes. Exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips up to the sky. Down dog. Breathe. Inhale, look up, two between the thumbs, step forward with your right foot and turn both toes forward. Get your feet and heels in one line. Get them nice and even. Hands come to hips, exhale, squeeze the buttocks, the backs of the legs, come all the way up to standing. Hey, kittens, you recognize that back there? Thank you so much for the gift. You are truly a light, kittens. Thank you. And thanks to Mia as well. Whew, breathe. Adding a twist. So arms go out to the side. Exhale, we're going to take the left hand to the right leg or foot. You can bend your right knee if you want, but make sure your toes are pointed in the same direction as your knee as it's being bent, as you bend it. So you may need to turn your toes out and inhale back up. Good. So maybe you want to point your toes outward. Take your right hand to your left foot or leg. I love it. Our second cycle here. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. That's our fourth cycle, I think. And fifth cycle. After your right hand floats back up to parallel, I'm going to heel toe the feet together, bringing hands down by our sides. And we're going to make our way 
make your way down to the mat. And yes, Happy New Year. Just kind of catching up in chat as we shift through. Palms underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Inhale, cat cow. Feel each subtle movement. Two more cat cows. And finding a neutral spine. Sinking hips back, bringing hands down by your feet. And we're gonna inhale, sweeping the arms up, coming into kind of like we're doing camel pose, but not quite. We're not gonna do like a super big back bend here, just subtle back bend. Exhale back down to child's pose as we sweep our hands down by our side, inhaling up. So three more times. The head doesn't have to come all the way to the floor. It can if you want it to. Your aura is this big. As big as your arms are sweeping out. At least that's what I'm imagining right now. This is the size of my aura. And last time here, bringing hands back, meeting in child's pose, bringing hands in front of the body. So sending them straight ahead toward the front of the mat. Fingers are spread wide. Exhale, draw back up into tabletop. And we're gonna come over onto our backs, either crossing the ankles or sweeping them to the side. And rolling down. Very nice. Hug the knees into the chest. Exhale, send the feet up. So here's our inversion for our promise practice. This is an option to just glide the hands up the legs. So reaching up and gliding down. And the toes are drawn toward the body. Yoshi hair. Bringing hands down by your hips. Fingertips are pointed toward the end of the mat, away from the head. Shoulders are tucked underneath the body. And deep breaths here. You may even notice some shakiness maybe in the abs as we work our rectus abdominis, our transverse abdominis. And release the feet down, placing them on the mat. So heels are underneath the knees. You can adjust your Heels either closer to the body or away, just wherever you need. Still keeping the hands down by your sides and exhale, tuck the shoulder blades under the body, curl the tailbone up, pointing them toward the knees. Pull the knees away from the shoulders. Bridge pose. And breathe. Imagine you have a yoga block between your knees and you're slightly squeezing that block. Not with a ton of force, but just awareness there. Making sure the knees parallel to each other, the thighs parallel to one another. On your next exhale, lower vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale the arms up as you lift the tailbone up. So we're going back into bridge pose. 
continuing to draw the knees up. <clears throat> Feel your shoulder blades, like the bottoms of the shoulder blades, starting to lift away from the mat. Exhale, lower. I'm gonna do that two more times. Soften the jaw. The gaze is up and forward as you move into this bridge pose. You want to protect your neck. So no looking from side to side. And release down. Extend the legs out. Take the feet out wide, as wide as your shoulders. Arms go out to your sides at about a 45 degree angle. Shoulder blades are tucked under the body and close your eyes. Feel heavy. Let your jaw be relaxed. Your forehead is relaxed. The tongue is soft and away from the roof of the mouth. Let all things of the past go. Inhale whatever you wish for your future. Continue this cycle of focusing on your breath, exhaling negativity, inhaling positivity. shift your awareness to basking in whatever makes you grateful. So think of 10 things you are grateful for. to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Draw your feet up, roll over to your side. And press yourself up whenever you're ready. to heart center. Thank you for your practice. I am so grateful for you. Namaste.